Yeah, this was an interesting announcement yesterday. I think perhaps one of the most interesting things about it is that it came just on a random day in March. I mean, usually when people are knighted or ennobled or given any sort of honours, we either get it on the Queen's birthday, Queen's official birthday in June, uh, or we get it in the New Year's honours list. And what we learned yesterday was that he was given this honour for the New Year, um, but it has to be paused because there was a party gate investigation going on into events in the Department of Education when he was Education Secretary. And then it was sort of randomly announced yesterday by Downing Street, who, who said that he's now uh, he's he's now a sir, and I mean there are plenty of people who are quite upset about this. Labour and the Lib Dems and yeah. various other educational campaigners came out yesterday and said that they thought he didn't really deserve one, uh, and that a lot of those uh, problems that we had during the pandemic with the exam system, getting young people their results, um, mean were actually his fault, and he shouldn't be rewarded for it. Yeah, I mean it does seem to be like a running theme when there is an honest list. A lot of people yeah. do complain, but it does just seem to be dished out to anyone that was a minister now. Um, it, it, it doesn't really seem to be a clear he criteria. Knows it, doesn't he? Or, 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 or chief whip, you know, he knows, he knows. Well, he's, got, he's, got all, what, he's got all the secrets. Yeah, yeah. That's, one, that's one perspective. <laughs> but I do think that it does seem, at least to the public oftentimes, that if you've just been a minister, that means that you are um, someone that can get on the honest list. It doesn't seem to always be relatively about your actual contribution anymore. Yes, I suppose so. And I suppose the days of sort of ordering uh, or gi giving out knighthoods to people for chivalry or battlefield service or whatever are mm. now gone. Uh, and political parties have the opportunity, but the opposition does as well, but political parties have the opportunity to nominate people and inevitably they choose people that they want to reward for whatever reason. Um, so yes, you might argue that Gavin Williamson is being rewarded here for his services to the Conservative Party, uh, not his services to the country. But that, yeah, that, as you say, that is an argument that is made every time these honours are handed out, and that is the way that the system works, rightly or wrongly.